Hi dolls! Today I am going to show you my reroute process for this vintage ponytail Barbie. To the best of my knowledge, this is a number 5 ponytail Barbie that has received a scarlet haircut, as my client called it. She has several holes poked into her head, probably from someone trying to fill in the bald spot. When you look at ponytail Barbie's hair, as you can see here on my number 4, the individual fibers are way thinner than saran or nylon. I was originally going to do what everyone else does and just use saran hair for her, but upon researching alternative fibers I found something matching the original almost exactly. This fiber is also extremely soft and brittle, and can obviously withstand heat, but we're gonna discuss that a bit later. I first start by combing out the bangs and separating them from the rest of the hair. Once everything is nice and tidy, I go in and start removing the plugs from the inside of the head using a screwdriver. As the bangs are in mint condition, I am not going to touch them. Once I get to the top of the head, where the hair meets the bangs, I pull on the hair to slowly rip it out, to reduce the risk of pulling out any plugs from the bangs. Obviously, the head was softened with a hair dryer during this stage, to remove the possibility of the vinyl splitting. Once I have removed everything, it's time to give her new hair. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I am not using typical doll hair for this project. Instead, I opted for a fiber used in decorative rope trim, like the rope typically used for curtains. The fibers are twisted around a rope, so I unravel them and I straighten them. When you feel the softness of this fiber, something clicks, and, at least to the eye and to the touch, this becomes indistinguishable from the original fiber used for these Barbies. Whether this is the same exact fiber or not, we may never know, but it's pretty damn close. The only downside is, obviously, the color choice is quite limited, but as long as you're going for black or you're working on a one-of-a-kind project, it really is a great choice. The method I am using for this reroute is the knot method, as I found it the least frustrating. Using an embroidery needle, I push it eye side down into the head, and I pull it out using a pair of pliers. Then I take a strand of hair, wet the ends, and pass it through the eye of the needle. Once the hair is in, I tie a knot. I cut and burn the ends off to make sure it stays put. Then, I pull my needle back out through the head, making sure to hold on to the knot so I don't accidentally pull it out. This method is great for restorations, because it doesn't involve anything disruptive such as fabric glue to hold the hair in, and I find it way less annoying than the lock and loop method. When I get to the top, I try and find a row of pre-existing holes to pull the hair through, which was definitely tricky to put it mildly. I will keep my number 4 as a reference when working on her. As you can see, this hair is incredibly soft and has a fluidity similar to that of human hair. I start by brushing out any kinks, then I separate a section at the side of the head and put her hair in a high ponytail.
Then I wrap the section around the elastic to hide it. And I pass it through the ponytail using my embroidery needle. I cut her hair just below the shoulder blades, and I did a bit of point cutting to make it less blunt. To curl the hair, I simply wrapped the entire ponytail in aluminum foil, and using the tiniest perm roller, I wrapped the ponytail around itself. Then, I set the hair using hot steam. I love the bouncy curls, however, Ponytail Barbies had a hard sausage curl, so in order to keep it accurate, I hairsprayed the living shit out of it which will also help the hairstyle stay intact when I send it back to its original owner. And we are done! Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing and follow me on Instagram at Dodier Wonderland. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.